Hi Aries, this is your July 22nd through the 28th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love uh, entry in your life this week. In the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already in a relationship or married. Spread number three is love from the past. In the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, we'll wrap things up with the fifth spread, which will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is a new love this week, um, Aries. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Fool. We have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Cups. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Magician and the Lovers. And uh, we also have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Virgo... Uh, maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This is one interesting reading, Aries. Because um, <laughs> it's one of those readings when I actually didn't have to do the potential outcome. I still did it because I wanted to see hopefully some court cards or some other useful information, right? And I'm saying it because in the main spread on the left we have uh, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles showed up on its own, right? And uh, the Ten of Cups showed up later as a clarifier. Ten of Cups clarifying the uh, Two of Cups. So you do have two marriage cards, two commitment cards on the left. Not even in the potential outcome. Here it is, alright? And it's like you're getting the best of the, both worlds with this person. Because the Ten of Cups is all about emotional fulfillment, right? It's a very happy card. Um, this card is often referred to as the happily ever after card. And the Ten of Pentacles is all about practicality. It's all about having money in the bank, it's all about buying property together, you know, uh, raising a family. Both of those two cards are family cards. And you got both of them, all right? And um, yeah, we start with an ace, with the ace of swords, clarified by the fool. The fool is actually one of your major iconic cards. <laughs> Here he is, all right? Uh, but uh, the ace of swords is a very decisive card. The ace of swords often comes through as the word yes, it's a card of no BS. Uh, I often refer to the Ace of Swords as the no BS Ace, right? With the Ace of Swords, people just set the record straight. People have a very straightforward, very direct, very upfront conversation. It's a card of clarity, right? And uh, that's the card you guys are starting with, right? The Ace of Swords. The Fool, yeah, that's you. At the same time, if we forget for a second, the Fool is one of your major iconic cards. The Fool is a card of just going for it. It's a card of taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, not even thinking twice, jumping head first. And uh, not because you're reckless, but because it'll just feel like the right thing to do with this person. Because you will connect immediately, right away, right there on the spot. Because the next card that came out is the Two of Cups. And as you can see, we have two people in the Two of Cups. We also have two people in the Lovers, <laughs> right next to the deck. But we'll get to that card in just a second. So yeah, right after the Ace of Swords, Two of Cups showed up. It's like the two of you will be, both of you will be crystal clear that the two of you vibe on the same level, the two of you belong together, the two of you have a lot in common, uh, you have similar interests or same interests. You, you, just, you just match. You just match with the Two of Cups. It's a card of unconditional love. Right, and uh, it's clarified by that Ten of Cups, and uh, the Ten of Pentacles followed right after that. We also have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, right? The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but this is the most loving, the most caring knight out of all for night. So I, I like how you have this, the, you have this very healthy mixture in this whole reading, right? You got a couple of aces, the Ace of Swords, no BS Ace, then you got that Ace of Pentacles, the first card in the potential outcome. And uh, you have practicality with the Ten of Pentacles and again with that Ace of Pentacles. And you have a lot of love, a lot of love with the Two of Cups, with the Ten of Cups, with the Knight of Cups that we were just talking about, and with the Lovers right next to the deck. The Lovers, uh, by the way, both the Magician and the Lovers could be a Gemini. <laughs> right? The Magician is actually shared between Gemini and Virgo. Right? Uh, but the, the Lovers is not only a Gemini card, it's also a card of a choice. But so late in the reading, so late in the reading, the only choice I can think of is uh, you could be choosing your wedding venue, right? <laughs> or where, where you want to live together. The Lovers, in my opinion, is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's very similar to the Two of Cups. 
but it's a major arcana card, right? So the lovers is the lover of your life card. The magician, if you're not dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo, then the magician is a card of manifestation. Perhaps this is something you've always wanted, and now your wish is being granted. The magician is a card of taking action. It's a very active card. It's a very creative card. Right, then the, the first card in there in the potential outcome is that second ace, the ace of pentacles, which often comes through as a marriage proposal. It really does, all right? And it's a golden opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And perhaps you know it, they know it, right? You see how we have this duality going throughout this reading, right? We have two aces, right? One per person. <laughs> we have uh, two marriage cards, right? The ten of cups and the ten of pentacles. And we have uh, the two of cups and the lovers, and which are similar which are very similar energetically speaking. So both of you match, you're on the same page, both of you know what what's coming your way. All right, really happy for Aries, congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Aries, this card is for you. We have the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, clarified by the Sun, and uh, we also have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. It looks like some kind of a family reunion, maybe. <laughs> or perhaps you're going back to uh, where you've been before. Or you're going back to where you grew up or where the two of you met. Or something like that. There's definitely an element of the past. <laughs> right? Because the last card I came out is the Six of Cups. It is a soulmate card, but it's also a card of someone or something from the past. And the thing about the Six of Cups, you know, it's usually associated with like very nice energies. We're usually glad to see people from the past or we're usually glad to go back to some place where we've been before or where we grew up. Right? The Six of Cups is clarified by the Sun. The Sun is a Leo major arcana card and uh, right this week, this is the first week of the Leo season. So yes, it, it's, uh, it's perfect. <laughs> it's either happening right now during this week, during the beginning of the Leo season. You may have um, a Leo from the past that you're going to be reuniting. Maybe you're traveling back somewhere and it's a Leo's birthday. It could be, I don't know, a relative's birthday. Because I do see travel, right? The other ones, the first card that came out, is a card of a lot of communication. And at the same time, it is a card of travel. Okay? The Ten of Cups right next to it is a family card. And uh, the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I think you're going to be taking some breaks, a lot of breaks. Right? I don't know if you're going there just for a couple of days, just for the weekend, or maybe for the whole week. For some of you, it could be uh, the beginning of your vacation, uh, the beginning of your summer vacation. So with the Four of Swords, I think you're just going to take some time off. You will be enjoying the company of uh, your family or even people from the past, but at the same time, you will also focus on taking, taking some time off with that Four of Swords. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aries, this week. Um, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the King of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. And uh, we also have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so you got this King of Cups coming back. All right, uh, and to be fair to this person, to be fair to this King of Cups, they're coming back with that Ace of Pentacles. So they're coming back bearing gifts, perhaps literally. All right, you on the other hand, they must have really pissed you off in the past, because uh, I even kind of feel sorry for this King of Cups, because this is you with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords energy. Um, not being happy <laughs> with this person you know, gently put, conservatively speaking, right? Um, the Knight of Swords, out of all four knights, is the knight that tends to get into fights. I'm not saying you're going to be like physically, literally getting into a fight with this person, uh, but uh, yeah, you will have a few things to say, and they're not going to like them, right? The Knight of Swords, as you can see, this person, the Knight of Swords is charging ahead, they got their sword out, and they're ready to strike. And besides that, the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords, in this case, is like an amplifier of the Knight of Swords energy. You, I, like I said, I feel sorry for this King of Cups. The Three of Swords right next to the deck, uh, it is a card of a broken heart. So it could be this King of Cups broken heart, and this is them crawling back to where they came from. Or this is what you're trying to avoid. 
Right? You're trying to avoid your own heart being broken all over again. Speaking of you, on the bottom of the deck we have the Emperor, that's you. That's your major arcana card. And this is, it's also a card of taking control, so this is you basically taking control of this whole situation and not allowing this person to BS you again. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Aries. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, clarifying it. Then we have the Queen of Wands. We also have the Ace of Swords, clarified by Justice. And uh, we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra or any Zodiac sign. This week you're going to be waiting, <clears throat> or perhaps you have been waiting, for someone or something to make a decision. And by something I mean some kind of an organization or government or some kind of a government agency such as, uh, I don't know, courts or, um, I don't know, <laughs> some other agency, right? But you're, uh, you could also be waiting for a financial institution, you could be waiting um, for a foreign governor, government to grant you visa or something like that, right? Because we start with the Seven of Pentacles qualified by the Eight of Swords, yeah, you're waiting. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is. It is a card of waiting, the Eight of Swords, clarifying that you're stuck. You're stuck because you're waiting for them to make a decision. Um, the Queen of Wands in the middle, I think that's you. I think it's a fair assumption. And then we have that Ace of Swords, clarified by Justice. So this is where that decision comes in. All right? Then the answer will most likely be yes. All right? <clears throat> For some of you, you say you want to remodel your home and uh, your local government requires for you to submit blueprints and uh, get their approval. Maybe that's what you're waiting. Uh, you could be waiting. If you applied for a job, maybe you're waiting for them to get back to you, let you know if you got hired or what. Uh, you could be waiting for a promotion, what have you. I believe the answer is yes for that ace of swords, but you will have to wait. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Aries. We have the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Swords. Then we have uh, the Sun, clarified by the Emperor. And we also have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We also have Leo on the table. So what you're not expecting has something to do with this Queen of Swords. right? So it could be an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. And um, what you're not expecting is either them taking their time before they give you uh, an answer, or what you're not expecting, this person is actually giving you an answer, <laughs> right? Or what you're not expecting, you may actually have to deal with this Queen of Swords, and they will have to give you an answer. Or some sort of an answer depends on this Queen of Swords, all right? So I think this Queen of Swords is going to be like the quintessential... Uh, part of some sort of um, decision-making process, all right? Uh, <laughs> and it could be about love, it could be about absolutely anything, Aries, right? Absolutely anything. I don't know who this Queen of Swords is to you. It could be, like I said, it could be a love interest, it could be a relative, I don't know, somebody who works for a company and uh, you need them to make a decision. I don't know. Um, most importantly, the answer is going to be yes. All right. In the middle, we have the three of ones clarified by the ace of swords, and the three of ones is a card of somebody who knows what they want because they made up their mind, they made a decision, and the answer is yes with that ace of swords clarifying it. The ace of swords is the yes word of the, or one of the yes words of the uh, tarot deck. And uh, right next to the deck, we have the sun clarified by the emperor. This is where you come in. The emperor is your major arcana card, and the sun could be a Leo. You're dealing, but the sun is a card of clarity. Right, so now that this person decided, you'll be crystal clear about what, what's going on after that. And besides that, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So I think you're going to be pretty happy with this yes. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Aries, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aries, have an amazing week.